Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys about a trick that I've learned that can really help get a great pump and to build a lot of size and strength for you. Now, this workout is not for beginners. You should be at least been training for two, three years if you want to try this. A minimum, I'd say a year and a half just so you want to make sure you definitely got some muscle on you and if you're a hard gainer this is a great program for you so to start it off it's a five day workout you hit everything once a week pretty tough You're using antagonist muscle groups now I'm sure you y'all should I'm sure y'all have heard of monster sets by Mike Chain or Monster Mass it's where you put two opposing muscle groups back to back well here I call this the Arnold, I call Arnold the Arnold Mass workout. So, and basically, what one thing I've learned from him about the, t the way he built size and strength in his chest is he would do back to back with no rest. So, for example, I'm gonna give you guys the day one through five workout, and you're gonna take the last two days off. I hit my chest and biceps today, so I already gave you guys the first day split. Chest and biceps. You do You do four exercises for each body part. You hit doing three sets of four to six reps. Now Now I was asked though when I was developing this why I'm making the reps so low. Well if you choose the right way you'll only be able to hit five reps and then you'll eventually hit six reps and then you c you'll push yourself you'll build, be building that strength and if you eat right you'll definitely be getting that size and the first and but when you're doing things back to back you're actually building doing a little bit of volume the intensity is higher so you are building muscle this is definitely a program not to burn fat if you wanted to burn fat I'll I'm sure you can find another video on YouTube and I'll definitely post a video of me explaining a good fat burning because that's probably what I'm going to do because no matter how bulky you get you will always have that fat on you and you will cut it out and you may lose a little bit of size but you just mix it up together and maybe do this for a couple of months couple, about do it for about 12 weeks and go ahead and burn the fat you know, maybe you want to do a minimum, do about three weeks, then get back into it, and you'll be fine. So, for the chest and bicep, the first superset is a flat barbell bench press, supersetted mm -hmm. with a barbell bicep curl. Now, it doesn't matter what grip you want, just four to six reps. Um, and it's all about intensity. You want to choose the right weight. And what I did was, because I my back's been hurting a little bit so I wanted in my own um, my shoulders have been hurting so I wanted to go a little bit light my back's going a little bit better now but today I did 12 to 15 reps ooh and the weight was so light but I did it and I could barely lift that weight and it's all about pushing yourself beyond that then after that I do an incline barbell bench press super set with a close grip chin up and I'll, and when I do my chin ups, I pull, come down a little bit slower, and just keep pulling to build, the, to get the pump. And it's easier because you can build, you can add more weight with these super low reps. Yeah. Then I'll do a decline barbell bench press and a reverse grip drag curl. So I'm sure most of you guys know what a drag curl is. Now, suit, rotate your wrist the other way and do it. It's a great way of building your forearm strength and a bit of your outer bicep. And then. To finish things off, I like to do a isolation movement from my chest, and I just throw in some hammer curls, because when you do dumbbells, I can lift a lot of weight with the hammer curls. 110 pounds, guys. That's pretty good. And, you know, you superset in those. Then, on to day two, I like to do back and triceps. You know, you're pairing. You want to put two opposites, so we basically hit the front of our body so far. We hit the front of our body, now we're going to hit the back part of our upper body. I do. I start off with a good bent over row, and I wanted to make this note, when starting any workout, the first two sets, I'm trying to do, I do three warm-up sets, so three certs, so in reality, it's six sets, but I use a lot lighter, a lot of a lighter weight, you know, maybe use the bar, you know, yeah, just use the bar, or maybe add about 
25% of your working weight and just do that keep it controlled do it back to back and then you'll be set but I start off with the bent over barbell row I start off with the bent over barbell row with the close grip bench press and four, four to six reps then I do a one arm dumbbell row with skull crushers yeah. and you know you want to pull upward because we're trying to hit our lats then I do some skull crushers super no one arm row super set with the skull crushers then I do dumbbell pullovers to really get wide lats with tricep kicks backs then I do a, I finish it off with a wide grip pull up with tricep one arm extensions that's how you're gonna build mass so you know you're gonna definitely be sore the first couple of days and day three is a shoulder and trap workout I do military presses you can use the barbell or dumbbell. I choose these barbells and I superset that with barbell shrugs. So getting them really heavy shrugs. Then dumbbell side laterals with upright rows. And I superset those. Upright rows, I don't go I don't go up here, I stay parallel. Um then I do a barbell front fly to really hit the front delts even though we're hitting a bit of a front delt bench press we have a day in between so then I should set it with dumbbell shrugs since I only have one dumbbell I do one side at a time keep it controlled I do a I do a bent over fly from a short wait a minute alright so never mind I don't do bent over flies I do that in extra I do a reverse prom I mean, reverse Arnold press, well, Arnold press with the barbell, so you keep it supinated. Then I do reverse shrugs, put the bar behind my, grip it backwards, and do that. So all three sets of four to six reps. Day four, quad and hamstrings. Then for quad and hamstrings, I start mine off with barbell back squats and then Romanian deadlifts so three sets of four to six your lower back is going to be super torched and all four sets of six reps then I do leg extensions and hamstring curls and you can use a seated hamstring you can do a standing hamstring you can do a line leg hamstring curl just some type of hamstring curl then I do good mornings wait uh, I, then I hit deadlifts. Three sets of four to six reps. This is great for deadlift strength. Four to six reps. Then I superset that with barbell good mornings. You're going to again torch your lower back. And you want to be careful on the good mornings. This is the only exception I do. I like to do good mornings with a bit of a warm up. Even before the superset. Just so I can find that working weight. Because you don't want to hurt yourself. then I do front squats and I know that I'm a really I see me I'm personally against front squats just because they irritate my shoulders but I'm gonna use the clean grip and superset that with stiff legged deadlifts and I should be fine then day five that's the final day of the week it's a real simple day your shortest work well it depends how quickly how you do it. De I do decline sit ups, superset it with standing calf raises. I do six sets of eight to twelve reps for each. Then for the second and final, I do leg raises. You can do it from hanging from bar or laying on the ground. Then I do seated calf raises. So that's a that's my mass building workout, guys. Give it a try. You know, you want to have some experience with your weightlifting. So and you want to definitely have some size. But um, and the minimum lifts max for each one. I'd say for bench press, you should be able to at least bench 135. For curl, you should be able to curl at least 75 pounds. Bent, you should be able to bent over row at least 135. You should be able to close grip bench one, maybe no less than 115. You should be able to military press at least 95 pounds. Uh, you should be able to shrug at least. Mm, a good 185. 
squat, should be able to at least squat 185, deadlift at least 185, and yeah, so, you know, I keep them recommendations on there, and I'm going to put the workout in the link, I mean, in the description below, and I'm going to write down the max, I mean, the minimum weight required, and you definitely, this is to bulk up, it builds strength. So, I hope you guys give it a try, and it's a great, you, I definitely recommend using a spotter, and, you know, it's okay, you can use the same way with higher reps, but this is the way, if you really want to build the mass and strength, you know, if you want to go for 6 to 8, go for that, if you want to go for 3 to 5, or 2 to 4, just whatever, but this is how I recommend doing it, but 4 to 6, you'll be fine, and abs, the reason why I'm using lower rep ranges than normal, just because I want to get the thickness, and I'm going to do a fat burning video soon, after I come, after I built a little bit more size on me, then I'm gonna worry about cutting out all the fat. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys get this and give it a try, guys. All right. So, everyone, have a good night. Oakland Gym, bodybuilding out.